Last week, academics made a pretty wild bet that Kendrick was going to sell less than 400,000 records. Which was the dumbest bet ever. I said wild. I was trying to be gentle. I'm sorry, academics. Let's not be gentle. That was just a very novice, like, dumb bet. It's a very uninformed bet to me. The final numbers aren't in, but projections are. It sounds like lowest is 450, maybe 485. The what do you have to, to say for yourself? Wait, wait, wait. Let's be honest. Kendrick's never cracked 400. His last project, first, Untitled, was below 200. Almost right. Are you counting on title though? That was a, yes, like, I a am. I count everything. Album. And everything's an album. The okay. novices <laughs> count. Also, everything. also to pimp a butterfly, which came off Good Command City, was below three hundred. So let's talk about oh, currently. 400, let's 400. talk about now number stat man. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these push-ups. The projections are not going to be eighty thousand records off. So would you like to prolong uh, the push-ups in, until Thursday? Is what you're saying? You want I would like them to be finalized. I, absolutely. Thursday. Thursday slash Friday. Would you bet 40 push-ups? Wait. I did. Well, I said 40. And I hate to interrupt. Last week, when we made the bet, you said. You love to. We'll know Monday uh, when it's projection. Uh, when so, it's, so I'll know what, what I'm time. looking at. So currently, I'm looking at them push-ups probably going to happen. Yeah, it's over for you, but whatever. Let's know. let's give them a few more days. Be, be kind. You're going to need a few more days. Let's just right? talk about Damn. I think this album's amazing, period. Want to know what you guys think. What were your first impressions? Did it live up to your expectations? Academics. I was pleasantly surprised. I mentioned before that Kendrick was at a fork in the road. A lot of people thought that was um, me saying that Kendrick wasn't good or something like that. Me, I just didn't want to hear that pro-black militant shit no more. I was done. I was over. I don't look to rappers to give me my political or social stances. I'm sorry. That's just not me. Okay. However, Kendrick really brought it back around, and I loved this particular project. Um, outside of about three songs, which I probably can't even remember, the entire album was amazing. I love the album. I love the direction. And also, I believe if anyone isn't content with this album, you probably didn't like Kendrick before. People okay. always say that they skipped a few songs, but they never tell us which songs they skipped. I can tell you. I would like to know. The track with him and U2, I thought was whack. I, didn't I never like want to hear Kendrick and U2. Ever. Okay. Ever. Sorry, U2. And I don't want Apple to put U2 albums on my phone without my consent. Hey, it's been a long time. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's been a long time. All right, I, I'm with you. I'm skipping that song as well. All right, so, but so Academics makes a point. To Pimper Butterfly was a great album, not the easiest listen. Not something you just throw on every day. Oh, this project... Shit. It was yeah. Negro Spirituals over a beat. I don't want to hear that from a rapper. Like, I don't listen to rap for my motherfucking socio-political stances. Not and I don't, I don't agree with you necessarily, but I would say that I enjoyed listening to Dam as a project. The production, everything is just put together really well. No, well, I was talking about Pimp Butterfly with, with that type of you thing. You know but... music is how slaves communicated back in the day. Okay. So when you, so it just befuddles me when you say, I don't want to hear Negro spirituals from a Am I a slave nigga? And rap. I don't want to hear it. Okay, so <laughs> that's not this album anyway, so let's just focus on Damn. Joe, thoughts? Um, damn, I loved it. I love, I love the album. I expected to love it. Um, when you have Dre backing you and you have the, the TDE, like they have my trust. I trust that Kendrick will deliver a fire album, which he did. The bop was very different from what I expected from a Kendrick album. There was some joints on there that you know, like you said, he gave us some very pro-black music in the past. This time he was very, he was on attack mode. Uh, he was on storytelling mode. The storytelling was so amazing that I sat and tried to think of who tells a better story today in hip hop than Kendrick. And then the answer to that was nobody because nobody is telling stories today in hip hop. And then that got me to thinking how different the fans are today, just because I'm obsessive and delve too deep into thought sometimes. Nas telling the best story is what propelled him to the uh, top five, top three list. And we, we, we applauded that back then. Back then we applauded MCs for being able to tell a story. Today, while everybody's blown away by uh, Duckworth, I don't think that particular ability is what grabs kids today. So I think Kendrick did Kendrick. Uh, it sounds like it. It's new. I love it. Uh, is it the album of the year? I don't know. 
that remains to be seen. It's still very new, very fresh. I'm not finished digesting this album, but I did say last week somebody would die on Friday. Who I died? Did. Well, he did. Kendrick died. Kendrick so died. So Kendrick killed himself, suicide. Kendrick died if you listen to the album. All right. Okay. Boom, so boom. somebody did die, just not who I expected, number one. Number two, if you delve deep into these lyrics, which I have not done yet, and I refuse to believe that everyone who has listened to this album has done yet, because they're way too intricate. I believe some other rappers are getting bars outside of Big Sean. All right, but let's talk about Duckworth for a second and how crazy it is that four albums in, he tells this wild story of a top dog owner of a TDE not killing his father when he robbed a KFC. And, you know, 20 years later, of course, he ends up signing to his label. Just kind of a mind-bending story. To your point, kids maybe don't love storytelling as much as they do these days, but what a story. Why do you think that people don't like a great story within a great song. I, I think that song is amazing. It is. I think that song is amazing. I think the album overall, if you like Kendrick, and, and I have to preface it by saying if you like Kendrick, you like that entire album because he gave you what he does best, but he pretty much rounded it out rather than just going one particular lane that you have to be on when you're listening to it. Um, I will say this. You were completely wrong, and I just want you to admit it. He ain't kill no rapper, okay? The, the, the tone that he set with the hard part four was not continued, wasn't hear, escalated. It rapper? was ignored did on the, com did the listen, album. Did you listen to Element? Yes, I did. Listen again. Okay, so expound Just upon Just listen again. Expound not, upon that. for me to expound upon. I asked you a question. You said yes. Okay. The yes, if, if you really listen to it, I don't really see how you could say he's not addressing anybody else. Okay. Did somebody Mo die? Mostly no, uh, nobody okay, died. Exactly. That's nobody, the point. Nobody died. However, he did continue that aggressive tone from our part. He did. He was aggressive. He was very direct in speaking to, to his peers. To who? His peers. Now, to listen, who? You think anyone in particular I'm, I'm, or just peers in general? To who? I, I think a few people in particular. I'm not say ready names. to say Many yet names. because I'm, I want to dig in some more. Okay. I've only sat with this album for two days. I respect this, by the way. Twitter always not, wants your opinion and all the stats the now, next listen, day. Listen, there was a Jay, I agree. There was a Jay-Z article uh, that came out. I don't know if you saw it. That said, the internet killed the album review. Did you see that? That's been out for years. You just saw that? It was actually it was actually an interview he had, and he said it's like if you review an album too quick, I it doesn't it. make sense. I see it every time the internet reviews an album entirely too fast. That's a trend. Maybe you can speak more to it because I think your generation does that a lot. All you can really tell me as soon as an album drops is whether it sounds good or not. Unless you're listening to one of the lower quality artists who put out low quality music that doesn't take very like, long to make. I need names. I need names. We can move with who names. Who puts out low quality? Who puts out low? You listen don't to ask all me. Of the low quality stuff. Say it. He's buttoned down Joe today. To He's trying quality, to be diplomatic. The low okay. quality stuff. So you have no idea who we're talking about. Okay, I'll put names. Future makes low quality music. Okay, fine. You said the name. It's high quality, I low quality say, music. I wouldn't say low but, quality. However, there's not um, layers or depths of. Um, Complexity. Which means it's fucking low in quality. Okay, all right, fine. However, you you were pussy enough to not to say say names, right? I'm saying I just said a name. <laughs> you said all right, so name. I think the point we were trying to make here is the immediate album review. Do you agree with Joe? Or I, do you feel like you can sum up an album real good in two days? I think there is layers of this Kendrick album. You probably have to take a step back, but I think in terms of it sounding good, and I think a lot of the stuff isn't probably, I've seen many theories where it's like layers and depths of complexity. I think by now you should be able to get a good grasp of it. Not sure if you get everything though. That's speaking to someone else's grasp of things. Well, well, <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think people already have a hard time grasping onto the simplest of things, one. Two, if there were an artist that you were able to digest immediately, it wouldn't be Kendrick. It wouldn't be Kendrick. It wouldn't be Kendrick. I'm surprised that Kendrick is as successful as he is when he's on his Israelite shit heavy. I'm surprised that that kind of talk has not scared more people away from him or made people more uncomfortable listening to him like they were at a Paul Mooney fucking stand-up concert. I, I've always said that because when people are comparing him to Pac, which I never really got the comparison, but when people compare him to Pac, Pac actually pissed off a lot of people while... He would say the same shit and then perform it at the Grammys. And everyone was like, it's amazing. Now, let me ask you a question, though. Because I feel like I've noticed this, especially with the last album. And only people dressed like you compare Pac and Kendrick. But anyway, 
you've never seen that. Are you on Twitter, motherfucker? No? I'm listening All to right. your point with so, that. So, oh, okay, okay. You, sir. How do you think, and from what you've heard so, so far, do you think there's a lot of replay value? Because I think that's yes. one of the, that's one of the attributes or, or factors in Kendrick's album that you'll be like, sounds good. Like, To Pimp a Butterfly sounded great. Lyrically, he's doing his thing. Like, he touched on some heavy subjects. Am I listening to that two months afterwards? No. The week of, which this is still the week of, I am. But two months from now, I ain't listening to that shit. To yeah. them? Well, I'm or are we not talking about To Pimp a Butterfly? Well, To Pimp a Butterfly wasn't. That to, I understand completely. To them, there's a couple of tracks I believe will carry on, but I still think there is a lack. I think I disagree. Say, I think this album is very no, reasonable. Lack of replay value on this album. If I was to forecast, because I can't tell. You forecast. No, no, okay. Bad Shut up. <laughs> right? There will probably be a lack of replay value with the entire project as opposed to other albums, which may not be as good. So I'm not equating replay value to being as good, but again, it's like fast food. You know what I mean? You, you, you can eat fast food all day, but... Un un unfortunately, your generation loves fast food. Unfortunately, your generation has dictated the shape of the music business so that most of the food is fast food. We're in the microwave era. Not very many albums last long because the attention span of idiots like you is very, very tiny. Let right? me ask you a question. You just asked me a question. I thought it was my turn to talk. Is it Do you not? guys think no, no. Good Kid Mad City had good replay value? No, well, I have a, I have a bigger question. Yes, is the answer to okay. that. Good kid, yeah, yeah, of course, with that, Good Kid Mad said. But I have a bigger question. What does it mean to last? Because I've spoken to you before, and I hope you'll say it now since we're, we're live, right? You didn't think J. Cole album really lasted. You thought it came and went. What does lasting mean? J. Cole's mean? last album? Yes. J. Cole's last album 100% came and went, which is why he's trying to force a documentary down our throats on a fucking Saturday night with no project coming. That album so came, and, that time out. That came, album out came and went. That album that is mean? arguably... In today's, in today's day and age. That, wait, that album is arguably J. Cole's worst body of work. However, when we have this conversation, since you want to bring it up, I always refer back to Forest Hills Drive. Because that album had all the replay value in the world. That album lasted way longer than release day, release week, release month. So last thing, again, I'm back to the context of the English language, means when something lasts longer than release day, release week, release month. Now, Kendrick's last album, no. No, it did not. This album, however... You can't play both sides of the fence. You can't, one sec, and, and, and I want to preface this with, you couldn't forecast him selling more than 400. So I'm definitely not going to you to foresee He's him. He's going to hang over your head forever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to you to foresee this album having lasting power. You can't in one breath tell me there's only two to three songs you will skip. You will skip. Yeah. You, who were a bit, uh, who were... Uh, I would consider myself a casual fan, but I'm speaking for the casual point. fan so if, in, all right, in, so in replay the, value. Okay, so if there's only three songs on the album that 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 you'll skip, yeah, and there's only probably two songs Mean I didn't on the like album them. that I will skip, okay, and you and I are not diehard Kendrick people, and you and I both agree that the last album, while amazing, still probably wasn't for us, why the fuck wouldn't this album stay... Okay. He just performed on, okay. he just performed on Coach, at Coachella, right? Headline. Right. Amazing performance. Nigga had ninjas and, and Ken and Ryu and Chun Li and all types of shit on the stage. Future came. I don't okay. know what you're talking about. All right, yeah. Let's, I, wait, I do no, agree with wait. Joe here. I'm a little bit confused. I disagree okay. strongly. Wait, I wait. I'm not done no. with my fucking point. Don't you stop me. So Coachella added to the fact that playoffs just started yesterday, and the only song I heard was Kendrick. The playoffs will last until surprised? June. No, you, I'm giving you information. Okay. The playoffs will last until... If you already know this, then why wouldn't it last? If you already know this, then you're arguing against your own fucking point. The playoffs will last it until has, June. The now, finals I, are over in... the week of the release. Wait, time out. I'm not done. The finals are over in June. Know what happens after that? Uh-oh, festival season. Festival season is after that. Do you think Kendrick is just going to disappear and be quiet all through festival season? Let, let me ask you this question that's bigger than... You didn't what answer my wait, last no, question No, no, wait, no. Now. Because Kendrick he, no, is no, going to no. be quiet all I, through I festival season. Let's see, he's trying to get to a point I here. Let's see to, what it is. I have to ask you a question to get to an understanding of what you're talking about. What does it mean to last? No, no, no. All what right, if you're so, not going no, 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 last no, no. fucking 20 minutes yes. of me talking? No, 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 no. Guys, okay, okay. You're, you're talking going in about circles events right now. That, that will, will probably, 
um, Keep up. the album. However, what does it mean nowadays to last? So you said J. Cole Project came and went. What does it mean to last then? What, what criteria do you need for an album to last? Because I think a lot of albums are lasted, but people are looking to no. the wrong mediums no. in terms no. of where no. it's, it's actually no. at. And like people no. are like, look, for example, hold on, hold on. For example, a lot of people will say, well, Kendrick's album, or not Kendrick, I mean, J. Cole's album didn't last because we're not here on the radio. I'm not saying you. We're not here on the radio, but if you look at streams, and people say it about Drake's album. Yo, Drake's album came and went. You, you are think now that? arguing more a life? point that I have a not lot. made. People think more life came and went? I've heard that from a lot of You're people. Hard. However, nobody you're talking to the wrong that. people, though. Well, well I'm speaking to... I'm speaking we to want to talk about what savvy listeners are saying. Not your fucking stupid YouTube niggas. What? I want to talk about what savvy listeners I would, I would are saying. They are. Nobody is saying more life came and went. Nobody's saying that. And really? when we talk about Kendrick, you're arguing to a point that I have not introduced. You're yeah. now arguing all of the streaming shit. I'm not yeah. saying why it will last. I'm just saying the album will last. Okay. I don't care if it's because of streaming. I don't care if it's because of promo. I don't. I don't care why it is. Albums normally don't last because, a, like we've talked about last week, sometimes artists put all their bank for their buck prior to the album dropping. So then when it drops and now we see the numbers, it's not enough for us to continue to invest money into this project, therefore the album is gonna come and go, right? Kendrick. You're talking about the labels. I'm just talking about period, if you're a lower level artist, if you're not uh, a level. But labels and Kendrick, Kendrick now, we know that Top Dog, Interscope, Apple, whoever the fuck, we know that they have a, a, a long term plan to make sure that his album is successful. If we know nothing else, we know that. If we know nothing else, we know that he's one of the artists that all the attention in the building is to make sure that this album does not come and go. We know that. So if you put so, no so, faith so, in Kendrick, so if you put no faith in Kendrick, so if you put no faith in Kendrick. What was the last two Kendrick projects? Untitled and of course, Typical Butterfly. But we, I don't think we need to count Untitled, Unmastered, and we're talking about well, it. We're the only nigga that's counting Untitled. We count, we count more life. Of Why course it was a project and it was a release, but it's songs that didn't make Typical Wait. Butterfly. That wasn't like a full-fledged studio even, album rollout. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna be this stupid, then I'm not gonna inform you. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. You're not comparing Untitled and More Life. I'm Are you fucking I'm, comparing I'm, more? I'm comparing no, them as projects. No, They're no, all projects. No, no. There's no more mixed things. I just want to know it's if you are indeed this stupid. More life and untitled, you're comparing them. Yes or no? I'm comparing all projects put out by those artists. All right, guys. I feel like this. So if you want to take it as a let's, let's take a break. We'll get, we'll get back to this. All right. <laughs> let's. 